What's up? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another Mel Chemistry video. As you guys can tell, I'm standing up. Since one of you suggested that we should stand up when conducting our experiments for safety reasons, we took that into consideration and we did it. So yeah, shout out to you, I guess. Anyway, for this video, we're going to be doing the pure water set. And from the pure water set, we're going to be doing the carbon filter experiment. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, from the starter kit, we're going to want to take a tray, some safety glasses, and a disposable cup. With this aside, we're now going to open the pure water set. And we're going to want to take a wooden splint. This set is actually pretty stuffed, not going to lie. There's like so many things going on. There's wires, candles. Uh, whatever these are called. Anyway, we're gonna take some gloves, a filter body, a vial stand, a pin opener, a plastic vial, a cotton cylinder, a measuring syringe, some methylene blue, and activated carbon. Now that we finish getting the things we'll need, I'll put on my gloves. Okay, so first I'm gonna get our cotton cylinder and our pipette, and I'm gonna insert this cotton cylinder inside of our pipette. So, I'll just put it in like this. Let's do it from this angle. It's not fitting very well. It's supposed to go all the way inside. Guys, we're only on the first step and I can't even get this to get inside of the this cotton cylinder to, to cotton cylinder to get inside of this pipe in. Okay, I just realized what was wrong. I put in the wrong cotton cylinder. I was supposed to be putting this one instead of this one. Yeah, this is big brain time. Anyway, okay. Here, I'm putting this inside. There you go. That one, nice and neat inside. Perfect. Next, we're going to get some activated carbon and pour it up to the 2.5 mark. There, I filled some activated carbon up to the 2.5 mark in the pipette. Next, I'm going to insert another cotton cylinder. Now we have a cotton cylinder, some activated carbon in the middle, and another cotton cylinder on top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a plastic vial into the test stand, I'm gonna, and I'm going to put the carbon filter inside just like this. Next, I'm going to get our disposable cup, the measuring spoon, and I'm going to pour one big spoonful of methylene blue into the disposable cup. Then I'm going to pour the cup halfway with water. No, not again. I wonder if this method will work. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, so there. Now that's around halfway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a syringe to transfer the solution into the carbon filter. So, here we go, bismillah. So now we wait. Guys, I don't know if I did anything wrong. Nothing is happening. Okay, so I think I left a gap. So what I'm gonna do is try and put a cylinder through this. Because it said apparently there might be too much air, so I wanna push this more and hopefully it should work okay I think it's working now okay guys I think it's it's working now our methylene blue solution water is now passing through the cotton cylinders and through the carbon activated carbon and through another one of that so I guess now what's happening here is that this this is acting as a filter and now it's filtering the water that's why the water is looking a bit clear which is pretty amazing to turn that inkish blue into plain water. Oh no, some methylene blue just rolled into the water. So let me explain what's happening right now. Why does the solution become colorless? The activated carbon adsorbs the molecules of methylene blue, the dye we use in this experiment. This reduces the concentration of the dye in the solution and makes the solution almost colorless. Now you may ask, what is adsorption? This experiment is possible to do it due to a very important process called sorption. This process can be either of a chemical 
physical or mechanical nature, but its working principle is always the same. One particular substance soaks up other substances, removing them from a solution or reaction mixture. In this case, the process of sorption takes place on the surface of the activated carbon. The surface sorption is called adsorption. While activated carbon is the adsorbent that soaks up methylene blue from the solution. This is actually pretty cool. The water is almost so clear, it looks like it's regular drinking water. Like, I can drink it, but they said not to drink it. I mean, like, yeah, who would want to drink that? Well, it looks like this is it for this experiment. This was pretty simple and really interesting to see. And that water certainly does look most delicious that I want to drink it, but I shall not drink it because it's not, you are not allowed to drink it. So yeah, I shall end it now. And this is it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Stay tuned for the other experiments which will be coming soon, inshallah. And yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.